After securing court bail, the families of MPs Robert Chagulanyi, also known as Bobby Wine, and Francis Zake sought assistance to obtain medical treatment abroad. The two were injured when they were arrested in the run-up to the Aroba election on 13th August 2018. After securing the required documents, they proceeded from Lubaga Hospital to Entebbe International Airport to secure their flights. However, police blocked the duo and returned them to Chirudu Hospital, where they were to be subjected to examinations by government doctors. The Uganda Medical Board is a committee selected by the Ministry of Health that comprises senior health experts. Its mandate includes catering for all patients seeking treatment abroad, whether privately sponsored or government funded. The medical board may in that case also uh, look internally. So it protects the market to the extent that it looks for internal resources. There may be experts internally to handle the, 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 the illness and the medical board would recommend that you seek such expertise. Members of the medical board were not accessible to speak to NTV, but Dr. Ekwaro Obuku, the president of the Uganda Medical Association, explained that the medical board is responsible for protecting patients from extortion or even forgeries. Protect money of government so that there is a return on investment in the patient. Although they are entitled to state-sponsored health care, MPs Francis Zake and Robert Chagulanyi decided to foot their bills after the medical board delayed to examine their health status at Lubaga Hospital. Dr. Obuku says the board does not directly deal with patients. It is the consultant who is attending to the patient and referring the patient for further care who is responsible for presenting the case on behalf of the patient. It's like a court of sorts. He warns that it may not be wise to ignore the medical board. It has occurred before that patients who have exported themselves to these other countries, when they get problems like a death of the patient, then they find themselves having to contact the embassy in the process of repatriating the body back home. And this is where challenges come in because the medical board is not aware and has not informed the embassy and there could be unnecessary administrative delays or difficulties. Sources at the Health Ministry revealed to NTV that the board is currently constrained by inadequate funding and a huge number of patients seeking referrals abroad. These include those in active service and the retirees. Walter Mwesije, NTV.